Hey baby girls, today I'm going to show you how to do an eyebrow thread. It's a lot easier than you think, let me show you. First of all, we're going to start off by cleansing the brows. This is to take any makeup or oil off the skin so you can see what you're working with. Next step, if you're a beginner, this will change your life. This is called the Brow Definer by Buff Brows. And what you can do is map out where you want to thread. This will stop you taking too much hair away and it'll also make sure your lines are clean and defined. You don't need to do this step if you're confident in threading but it's a great tip for any newbies. So as you can see Alex hasn't got loads of unwanted hair but you will be surprised just how a brow thread can really transform these brows. Make sure your client has a taut stretch from above and below the brow. Then I prepare my thread. So I find the perfect length by measuring the thread from my thumb to the top of my arm. Then I make sure both sides of the thread are parallel and then I tie the loose ends into a knot. So your thread will look like this. I always make sure I hold the knot in one side of my hand then using my left hand I begin to rotate clockwise around three times to create my X. Now practice pinching your fingers and thumbs together whilst the other hand stays open. Now let me show you on the skin. Line up your thread with your pencil lines. Remember, wherever that X is, whatever hair that gets trapped in that will be removed. So keep going back and forth till all the hair is removed. As you can see, some hairs are sat at an awkward angle. So try using your thread to redirect them so you can capture the hair. I always like to start with the bulb of the brow, then work onto the tail. Some people like to work the other way around. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Then I move to the tops of the brows, just tidying any strays. I brush away any unwanted hairs and soothe the area I've just done with some after lotion. I then brush the brows into shape and make sure they are all sat beautifully. I repeat the same steps on the other brow. I then soothe all the area and check if I need to trim any hairs. So Alex has pretty curly brows. When trimmed, it can take a lot of the density away and make the tails look super sparse. So I decided I didn't want to trim them. So I just finished with some brow glue to hold those curly hairs into place. I really love using this brow glue because it holds the tails of the brows into place especially like Alex's when they're super curly. 
By the way, can we just please look how beautiful these brows look? And I mean, when we started, they didn't even look that bad, but look at the difference just a thread can make to these brows. I absolutely love them and I hope Alex is over the moon. I hope you enjoyed my brow threading tutorial. If you did, drop a like and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.